In this lesson, we're going to talk about the universal selector, also referred to as the star selector, but it is literally an asterisk. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about it. I'm going to share my screen. So it doesn't matter what I'm clicking on. I'm going to hit command enter. I'm going to put my braces in and I'm going to put an asterisk in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you're going to see that it doesn't matter what I click on. That little asterisk badge is now going to be on literally everything. And this is because if we click on that and we do our border five pixel solid red, it selects everything. This is the universal selector literally selects everything. Now, I want to make it clear that as we go through this module S3 talking about selectors, we're not talking about styling. So we're not talking about the exact use cases of these selectors. We're not talking about the entire philosophy behind how to use these selectors. We will discuss those kinds of things in the styling module, S4. For now, we're just going to teach you what is this kind of selector? What does it generally do? Because you might look at this and you might think, Kevin, I'm never going to use that. Why are you even teaching me this, Kevin? I'm, ne I'm never going to use it. There's no scenario, Kevin, where I would want everything on my page, everything on my website to look exactly the same. Well, you would be wrong. I mean, there are there are scenarios where you want to influence the behavior. Some I mean, It may not be a visual thing or an obvious visual thing, but you're also not going to understand the value of a specific thing like a universal selector without understanding other concepts that we're going to be talking about. And then I'm going to be teaching you, for example, combinators. So when you use the star selector in a combinator, it actually becomes insanely valuable. But see, we have to learn about combinators and then we have to, in our styling module, learn about various scenarios where these things might occur. But for now, we have to know that when you see a star in CSS, when you encounter this, whether you're inspecting a page, right? Like for example, why don't we save that? Why don't we go to the front end? And you might be thinking to yourself, where is all these red boxes coming from? And you grab any red box and you come down and you see right here in the inspector, a star and you see border five pixel solid red. That means that universal selector is selecting this item and applying a border of five pixel solid red. And now you know exactly where that styling is coming from because you know some dummy put a star in the style sheet somewhere and put a border of five pixel solid red on it. Now you know where to go to fix it because you know, okay, that's a universal selector. I'm going to go find that instruction and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove it. By the way, you can remove these uh, global instructions from here, right click and delete, and that instruction will go away. But that is the universal selector, also known as the star selector, but is literally an asterisk. This is really fun. Okay, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep going on selectors. Uh, buckle up my friends, buckle up.